So the last time I reported, uh, had the antenna stuck to the back of the FJ and strung up to the garage there. Uh, since then, I finished building my uh, little stand here for the fiberglass pole. And you can see way up there. And have it guy wired off to the fence for the time being and the trailer over there. But um, I don't have the end of the antenna up at full height yet. Uh, so that's about four sections of six feet so 24 feet up on the end of the g5 rv jr antenna there um, cables are just running out the window for the time being nothing permanent and uh, j5 uh, rv jr antennas are about 55 feet long so have the other end tucked up here at the tree it's uh probably just below 20 feet and you can see the cables stretched in between. Um, the middle here is sagging pretty low because the uh, feed line coming in, the ladder line, 17 feet long. So you can see it's it's way too low at this point. Um, I am considering getting another one of these fiberglass poles and putting it you know, right about here and then getting that center up as high as I can. But I've been managing to pull in um, a lot of FT8 uh, so far with this uh, throughout Canada and the US um, into South America and that, but nothing over in Europe. I've heard a few stations, but haven't managed to actually, uh, um, you know, have a two way conversation with them. So anyways, it's a work in progress. It has me up on the air now. Uh, today I called on um, 20 meter single sideband CQ the first time managed to get someone calling me back I'm not sure I copied them or not but I threw it up in the log and we'll see whether I get the QSL or not um, the 20 meter band's been up and down all day today even the kilowatt guys are fading in and out um, from all over the state so it's not the not the best day out there but Anyways, uh, as always, everything in this hobby is a work in progress. So, um, you know, one of the things I want to do, I kind of silly thing is I pinned this thing to the ground uh, before really checking to see whether it was in the right position. And, uh, you know, I ideally should be pulling it out another foot or so this uh, towards where I'm standing right now just to be able to pull that antenna a little bit more taut. Um, of course, I can use the guy wires to pull the antenna back in this direction uh, if it does get taut um, and bend the fiberglass pole, but kind of, like I said, it is what it is, and I'm on the air, and, you know, time to make improvements and see whether I can do better, but, um, you know, can't wait for perfection, so that's where I'm at today. Thank you. 73. Bye.